Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is a, well it's a cardboard box, but inside the cardboard box, this is how, right, ordered these from AliExpress, they came without a box, this is the kind of box they came in, I have obviously opened it, it wasn't like this when it started, but we have inside the bag a set of turtles. Now these guys are obviously, I think, the computer game versions of the turtles. Um, because that's what I ordered. Let's see what is in here. You are seeing this as I am seeing this. So, there we go. All them bits fell out. Right, we shall put that down there. So, we have a computer games pizza box, which oh, doesn't close, does it? No, doesn't close. <laughs> it's okay, it's not broken. Uh, Num checks, extra hands, a broken nunchuck. Ah, that's why. That's what that is. Right. Okay. So, I guess that comes off of there. Does it? That's supposed to be the spinning one. Okay. So that, that I guess, is going to be fixable. Um, one of those. No, there is. Right. There is a broken num check. But, luckily, does he have two? Yeah, I guess he has two sets. Okay. So that's a bad start. There's that, which I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. He does have two sets. Okay. Yeah, it's fixable. I'll figure something out. The loops come off. Yeah. As long as he's got one set, that's reasonably okay. So, that is Raphael. Donatello. Oh, Leonardo. Oh, he's had a few beers as Leonardo. And Michelangelo. Now we have whole sets of swords. Yeah, so this came from AliExpress. This a grand total set here cost the wonderful sum of about 30 quid. Which when you think these are 30 quid a figure normally. So, hmm. Swords. Uh, staff. Num checks. Um, a myriad of hands, which will probably move. They need warming up a little bit and playing around with, but yeah, they will. Yeah, they do have joints in them, so they are moverable. Manu yeah, like he. Manoeuvrable. Pointy fingers. Thumbs up. I do think of doing the whole video in a turtle voice. Ew, totally bodacious, dude. So, <laughs> yeah, let's have a look at Raphael. All right. So, the joint's a little stiff, I have to say. That um, is slightly sideways, so we shall straighten up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, I will admit, I am not sure whose weapon is whose. There you go, I admitted it. As much as I love the turtles, Oh look, he's a butt kicker. He's a shell kicker! <laughs> yeah, there was a guy came the other day to uh, to a fancy dress party and he said he'd come as a teenage mutant turtle and I said, well, why have you got a woman on your back? He says, it's Michelle. <laughs> anyway, that is, as you can see, there is a little bit of glue on the on the belt buckle there. So, using my knowledge of turtles as well as I do, I'm gonna cheat and look online. So Raphael, yep, he has the numjacks. The those. Will I go in there? Ooh, squeaky eyes. Oh, that's probably driving your cat round the bend. Or your dog. Or your hamster. There we go. So that's him with his I have to say, these are. I, I think they look great. They, obviously, the computer game version. I would have liked them to be more of the like the animated series version, but I couldn't find an animated series version that was at a good price. Like I say, what I paid for these is pretty good. The things at the back there are manoeuvrable, so that's nice. Yeah, so that's. I'm liking these guys already. Now, Donatello. 
I'm just going to check. They have got the right colours, haven't they? Let's have a look. Raphael Donatello is purple. That's more of a pink, but I'll go with that. He has that right. Whoa. So which is your favourite turtle? Everybody has a favourite turtle. Put it in the comments down at the bottom. Have a little chat, guys. I, I, I would like you guys, there's a great community of you guys out there. I mean, we're, we're nearly on 3,000 of you, which is brilliant. Um, all I ask is that those of you that are watching this that haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Just hit that button at the bottom. It is a great help. So this is Leonardo. And he is blue, yes, that is right. And he is the big swords. There we go. So let me show let me show you the paint jobs on these while we've got this guy in my hand. You can see that there's some slight imperfections in the the eyes are pretty good. Mouth. I do think that looks like ooh, cracking cheese grommet. Looks like he's been done by you know Wallace and Gromit Admin animation. They have the effect of being the computer pixelated versions, which I, I'm okay with. Was the that's clever because they don't go all the way around the leg. Hmm. So articulation wise, um, they are a bit stiff. They always are. And you've always got to be careful with necker figures, regardless of whether they're real or not. So I'm just it does have focus. Do that. That written on the feet. So it does have yeah. It does have copyright written on it. So yeah. That goes that way, head, a little bit tilt that way, a little bit tilt that way, a little bit forward, a little bit more back, obviously he's, he's his shell. Um, there is no, there is manoeuvrability in that midriff underneath, so you can kind of turn it a little bit, and that is rubber, so that is going to move out of the way. Leg out, and plie, da -da. as I said earlier, he is a shell kicker, so oh, that's loosened that leg nice. The feet have so you can do a bit of positioning in them that way and that way. There we go. So they stand, like I say, you can flatten the flatten the feet. I do advise anybody using any any kind of necker figure always always try and warm them up a bit first. Yeah, it is a little bit cold in here. I have to admit. Um, it's still icy and snowy outside, so yay. Right, swords in uh, there like so. It's a shame his nunchucks are broken. I'm gonna have to, I'm, like I say, Michelangelo, we're gonna have to have a chat about your nunchucks. So if I'm right, Leonardo's a leader, right? Yeah. So yep, yeah, he has his yellow Michelangelo. There is the Stuff written on the bottom of the feet. And you see that? I can't see that because I need glasses. Focusing on my hand. Yeah, anyway, it does have the stuff written underneath there. Right, just made this one stiff and I don't want to break it. Yeah, I'm going to warm that one up because that one looks a bit edgy, like he's. Bad enough that he's got a broken nunchuck, he doesn't need a broken arm as well. There, that one moves. Actually, have we got, oh yeah, we have. Uh -huh. Just give me a minute. Put that in and um, just talk amongst yourselves. Ooh, that's hot. Ow, 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 ow. Going anywhere nice for your holidays? There we go. Yeah. We've got that one manoeuvred. So num check in that hand. I mean saying that right, num chuck, num check, num whatever. So it'll look okay like that. They don't have any of the things I mean it's basically one turtle, just with a slightly different paint job, which, you know, that's how it 
you know, that's how they do it. That's how they did it with the originals, but this bit was different, wasn't it? Because it had, you know, thing on there, so. So these are the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Uh, I don't know if you, I don't know, I, I know I'm watched all over the world. Um, in England, for some strange reason, they changed the name because you can't use the word ninja in uh, an animated series, a kids show. So they became Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Um, and lots of bits of Michelangelo with nunchucks were edited out because once, many hundreds of years before, a um, football supporter, a Leeds United football supporter, um, used a nunchuck in a, f a fight with the police outside a football game, soccer, um, a soccer game, and um, they became like this thing of evil and banned and they weren't allowed to be shown anywhere. And even the, um, the Bruce Lee posters they airbrushed out the the nunchucks so yeah but i am impressed with these i like them i like his the way he's whoo hairs up <laughs> the pizza is obviously ooh, it's pepperoni that could maybe have been painted a little bit better but still the pizza does not come out the box lid does not move so yeah and like i say i have a set of hands you're obviously most that's Left, right hands. That's some right hands. There's like a two finger thing. There's a more grippy one. There's a thumbs up. A few thumbs up. But that's a, you can put one of them with a big double thumbs up. Pointy finger. That, I don't know, that actually looks kind of rude. <clears throat> yes. Flat hand. Oh, turtle down. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you get. I mean, this this set was thirty quid, um, which I think each one of these, if you were to buy them individually here in the UK, the official ones would be nearly thirty quid, even probably more than that. So this is a great set. I did find a site on there on AliExpress that had um, some of the. Uh, Walmart exclusive ones, not Walmart. Is it Walmart? Walmart and Target are doing exclusives of these things. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get some of those. But their prices were insane. So I didn't bother. Just out of interest, here is the Bebop and Rocksteady KOs that I reviewed earlier. Well, no, <gasps> I can actually say now. I reviewed last year. Yeah. So that gives you an idea of scale for these guys these guys are a little bit short on those they're obviously the animated versions these are the computer game versions but the animated versions these were the same ones they're just different paint jobs so yeah go watch that video if you haven't watched it already go watch that video it's it's one of my popular ones yeah you guys really really like to be bottom rocks too. so out of interest um let's put his feet a little bit more together please thing. i am really impressed with these i am you know, sometimes I order these things, and, and I will admit I order them because I think you guys will want to see them. These I was a bit like, oh, I don't know, I maybe shouldn't have. Uh, but yeah, these are cool. Uh, about 13 uh, centimetres tall, and a little bit over 5 inches. So yeah, they're a nice, they're a nice size, and a nice set of figures. So I'll put a link where I got them from at the bottom so that you can all have a look and see if you want some yourself um like i say there is that other page that had them on there if you want the link for that put it in the comments at the bottom but that you are looking at like 80 quid for a set of two figures which i'm like nah sorry lads you're not going to sell them at that because people don't want the ko's so it is a bit of a shame that that is broken but it, it's fixable i'll come up with some way of connecting that to that i mean it's just the loops missing but i'll figure some even if it's drill a hole put a paper clip in and bend it i'll, I'll figure some out it will be fixed and he also has that which is obviously his spinning version of it oh dude now to me that is just blur but on the camera you can actually see it spin that is cool yeah so that is the teenage moon into set 
If you've enjoyed this video, what would be a great help? Hit the likes, hit the shares, hit the subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get to 3,000. I was trying to get to 3,000 before uh, for the new year. Didn't happen. I only need like 40 more subscribers. That's that's just that's just it. So come on, these guys should get me 40 more subscribers. Yeah, there are more NECA figures coming. Uh, we've got some uh, Ghostface on the way, Doc Brown. Um, yeah, we've got some great stuff coming. So, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye now. Uh, anybody want a pizza? A slice of pizza? No? Oh, okay. There's no anchovies. Ew, anchovies.